Hello everyone and welcome to the buzziest update in Minecraft. That's right, we are in the newest snapshot to play around with the bees. So yes, the newest creature to arrive on our doorstep are bees, and they are pretty large. You can see them popping in and out of the hive there, but they're about the size of the block in itself. That is pretty big for an insect, which is why today we will be building them a mega beehive. And you might be thinking, well, how are you going to do that? That's got to be absolutely ginormous. And you would be right. Here it is. <laughs> the mega beehive. It's unfinished. It currently doesn't have an interior, but that is what we will work on today. However, the outside is completely done. This <laughs> was a really cool build for me to do because all I did was take pixel for pixel the beehive and blow it up so each pixel was its own block. Now I made it even more interesting by changing the entranceways. Instead of just being holes, I decided to theme them with grassy vines and a huge flower, which is clearly the pinnacle point of this build. So heading in to the lovely uh, mega hive, you'll find a single bee who doesn't really know where he's going. Hello friend, do you need help? Yeah, I guess we'll just leave him. So I've put in a floor, a nice subtle pattern that I think goes quite nicely with the hive aesthetic. However, we haven't got an interior. That needs to be built. And that is what we are doing today. Finishing off the mega beehive by building the inside. So let's get to it. Now then, the first problem I think we face is fixing the walls. So I took the liberty to try and come up with a wall pattern using quartz and the uh, stripped birch. Yes, yeah, stripped birch. So I wanted to go with an almost laboratory factory aesthetic for, you know, like honey and I can have pipes and things, but I don't like that. It doesn't feel as kind of natural. It's way too man-made. Uh, even though there's a nice glass roof, which I'm pretty sure bees can't make and lamps, um, it doesn't matter too much. But I have a new idea. Instead of this big back wall being completely flat, I think I might make it into a tiny like hive hole thing. You know how, let's, let's, let's get, get, a, get some honey up, shall we? So honeycomb, as you can see, it has these holes in it. And that is where the bees go to sleep and make their honey and pollinate things. <laughs> I'm not too versed on bee nature, but I think I'm gonna do that. Turn this whole back wall into almost like little bedrooms for loads and loads of bees. And then right in the middle, perhaps a queen bee uh, throne room, bee hole. I'm not sure what the terms are, but let's get on with that. So jump cut to when I've done that. Wow, isn't it magnificent? Yes, <laughs> this is is the progress on the hive. I think this is one of the coolest things I've come up with for the build so far. It took a lot of tries. This is not the first iteration. It's maybe the seventh or eighth. I tried so many different materials, different layers, different sizes of holes, different, <laughs> different queen locations, but this is what I've settled on and I think it works fantastically as a kind of eye drawing piece on the interior. So let's do a little walkabout. Of course, here in the middle is the queen's area. I've put barrier blocks to trap a little queen bee <laughs> in there. And the background, I've chosen one of the decoration. Oh my, that's a lot of barriers. Um, how do I, how do I grab that? Yellow glazed terracotta is what I used at the back because it almost has this insect, like as if this is the insect's head and then this is its mandibles I'm gonna go with. I think it's a really fun thing and it works well being yellowy orange for the honey aesthetic. So along with that, I've included this area down here, which is the honey pipe, I guess. <laughs> this is almost like a spout and then the honey fills up, flows down into the huge tank in the middle. Now, as for the rest of the build, I'm really not sure what I want to do. I'm thinking we could do very similar thing to the outside here, where it's all green and a flower, but on the walls inside. Kind of like a really cool natural hidey hole. 
I like the idea of that, but I don't want it to be too samey on the outside. Oh, and if you're wondering about how I made this, it's basically lots and lots of these stair patterns in this configuration here to create a block inside of a four block area, I guess you could say. Uh, this is perfect space for a B to go in, so therefore, I just stacked them all together, added a little bit of variation, like here the stair is going the wrong way, slabs are coming out, to make it look more natural and be created. But as for that, I guess we should get on with the next part. So, how do I want to do it? So as for more, I was thinking about doing it all green, but like I said, that's too similar to the outside. So why don't we change it up and make it a completely different color? And to help me out with that, I have got a Minecraft block color chart here. So what goes well with orange? Well, uh, that's a good question. We can see on this color wheel, if we hover around these oranges, go to the other side, we end up on blue and bluey green. So that is what we're going to look for in our color chart here. Now, immediately, I'm drawn to this coral block. I haven't actually noticed this before in Minecraft, but this will probably be what we're about to use. So if we can try and incorporate a nice bit of blue on the other side of the wall, it will match really well with our orange hive here. So let's take a look at that block. Where is it? Here it is, tube coral. I've never seen this, ew. Do I have to listen to that sound every time? Oh no, it's dying. Oh, that's not good, I need the blue. Is there a way for me to do that? Alrighty, Google tells me that blue coral works with a block of water at the back touching it. I don't know how I'm gonna do that with, oh, maybe I can bring it out like that. We'll, we'll play around, but let's give it a go. So I just pop some water back here and it hydrates, maybe? No, I don't think so. Let's try that and please don't die. Please don't die, the bees need you. It's very beautiful, it's a very royal blue, which works perfectly with the queen bee, oh! And look, yeah, it's surviving. What about this layer, is that gonna stay or is that gonna die? I feel like it's probably going to die. Yep, it is dead, okay. <laughs> Let's get to work using our new knowledge, shall we? So this blue coral is uh, a little bit bothersome to use because I have to fill the areas like next to it with water, which means I have to be a bit weird with space here. I also tried out this. Um, yeah, trying <laughs> a stripy bee design that's kind of like a factory laboratory warning, which I thought was a good idea. I don't really like it, which is why I got carried away and finished this whole wall right here. So I incorporated the blue coral and it's nice because it's a, it's not that much. So it's only a splash of blue in the build as a whole. But then the leaves, yep, I brought them inside. I could not say no to these lovely leaves. And here they are next to those um, shelves, I guess I mimicked the gray wood over here. And I've been using buttons to kind of roughen up the shape of it, but I went another step by completely adding whole extra blocks. And I, as you can see, I've put it here too, which disguises the doorways really nicely. And you get a cool view from up here or down there. And then when you come in from up here, also an awesome view. Well, when it'll be done currently, it's a little bit poop, but uh, if you want to see how I've done this, basically grab a prismarine, <laughs> place one in each corner like that. Then we take a, oh, I'm middle clicking here to grab each uh, item. Birch trap doors at the bottom, they kind of go like lift the floor up into the wall as they are both birch. Oh, but here comes the bad part, the, uh, the coral block. How do I want to do this? All right, water, go. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about the buttons. Oopsie. Oh, well, that hasn't happened yet. That's the first time. Okay, bringing this bad boy down. And there we go. Oh, I haven't done the other side. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> oopsie daisy. Again, no problem. We just lift it up. Now it's all going to die, but quickly. Oh, you see that speed? That's professionalism right there. All right, coming down and look at that. There we go. The bark of the tree does break into the blue lines, which I like. So they're not that straight. Uh, I might put another one there, maybe two. Yeah, I like that. Okay, anyway, um, back to this side. 
Oh no, this is dying. Oh, it's because there's nothing there. <laughs> oh, ooh, speed racer. All right, so now that we've completed that area, I'll grab myself a log and then jungle leaves. I really like the, the way that jungle leaves look, but I might mix in some other ones too. So just start going wild with your log placement, you know, kind of make it a little bit like a path, but then you get the fun part, spamming the leaves on every area <laughs> around the logs. You just, just do it, just random, just feel it, as many leaves as you want or you don't, it's your world. And then I like to carry on a bit up into the top. Oh look, and we can have it join, wow. That's a cool look. Okay, there we go. I like it. And now if we see any oddities, like this comes out way too far, might pop one in there, take out that, add a new one here. This area here is lacking a bit, so I might plonk one right there. And uh, you know what? Pretty happy with this. Pretty happy. I like it. It's looking good. Oh, next, buttons. Oh, is there a bee coming in? Please, sir. Please. Please, this is your house. I need you to see it. All right, uh, on go. Just again, random placement because you want to make it look rough and kind of, I think, knurled or nobbled might be the right words, as funny as they are. These shelves, I'm not sure if they're the best idea because you can't really see the flowers from down here. But I guess if you're a bee and you're flying around, buzz, buzz, buzz. There we go. I am <laughs> Alex the bee. Oh, wait, it. Oh, wait. Ah. Ah, is it that? No. How do you- I thought you could put banners on your head. Is that not true anymore? I'll leave the shelves for now, but if I think of anything better, then we'll swap them out. However, this final wall is our last challenge. Now, my first ideas was to recreate this pattern all the way up the wall. In every empty block there is, just do this same thing until the entire wall is filled. You know, I might give it a go, and then we'll uh, we'll see how it looks. So, speed time! Okay, uh, let's pause for a moment. This is ridiculous. How are you supposed to rotate these the right way? I don't understand what I'm meant to do here. Where am I meant to click? Do I have to do it backwards? Is that the thing? Yeah, it is. What? Why can't I just like right click them with something? That would be so much easier. Now I'm gonna have to go outside, but it doesn't matter. We can get a look right here. It's pretty ugly. <laughs> I don't like it that much. Nope, that's it. It's going. The whole thing. It was bad. Bad idea. Ah, and now we have a nice clean slate to work off of. I could bring all of the wood around the back, but then it would be way too much flat grey, and I don't know how I would break it up. I could do a big wall of... Ooh, what if we got some dark planks? Where are they hiding? I'm getting so lost. Like this. Grab dark planks, and again, we just fill up the wall, the whole wall, like so. Okay, okay, and then, now my idea might be shot in the foot here, but if we put down an item frame, you can see it's black. Now, I wanted to use it to put them pretty much in a lot of places and then add the really nice looking honey to the frames, which does look good, but it's, it's black around the back and that uh, it doesn't balance well. However, we could also fill up the area with paintings all the way up. But then again, I don't know many bee painters, do you? So for the second time, this back wall is gone. So that was basically my, um, <laughs> my, my process for building the back wall here. I would build a whole wall, detail it and everything, it would look poop. I would get rid of it, rebuild, until I ended up on the orange sandstone, which I'm really fond of. I'm glad I spent a lot of tries on that. The back wall, though, it's troubling. It's difficult. By Jove, the back wall has been completed. Yes, that's right. Isn't it wonderful? What I decided to go with was a quartz pillar backing, which I thought was a very interesting contrast to everything else. We have a white section, blue and green, and then orange. I think it works really nicely. I decided to move the shelves 
off of the corners, wasn't too happy with the way they looked, but now they're all showcased beautifully. And again, what's this in the middle? It's another vine that connects up to everything. Oh, and I put a bunch of bees in here because I thought they would maybe want to, you know, pollinate with the, uh, the plant pots. No, they just seem to want to leave apparently. So my house has been, <laughs> has been uh, unhappily taken over by the bees, I guess. And I added a nest at the top just in case they needed one. Oh look, one of them got out. Is that a friend? Wow, I don't know how bees work. I'm very confused, but I am very happy with the build because it's complete. It's completely finished. That's right, we're done. The hive area here where they all get to live. Unfortunately, bees don't do that and they can't um, get in here in Minecraft at least, but it looks really cool. I am happy with how it turned out with the red sandstone and the queen right dead center. As for the sides, I like them. They're subtle, they're, well, I say subtle. It's a huge bush thing going down the side, but I like the two strips of blue. That's all the build needed and just a little bit of color like that. And it feels so much brighter, so much more natural. And then the back wall, even more natural. I like the greenhouse look it's got going on, growing all of these plants. Maybe there is a giant beekeeper that does this, or maybe it is indeed the bees themselves. But heading on out once more for a final look at the exterior and boy is this something now don't don't tell anyone but um to kind of fit the things in i needed to we had to break the back of the hive shh no one's looking though only from the front <laughs> so here it is i am in love with this build i am very happy with how it turned out and i want you to let me know what you think in the comments below leave a like if you enjoyed and of course don't forget to subscribe for more builds, showcases, and perhaps Minecraft tutorials and Let's Plays. Wow, it's all in the future. So, oh, a pollinated bee is inside. Did he take it from here? <gasps> Pollinate, please. Are you doing it? Is he doing it? No. All right, then. Well, everyone, thanks for joining me. I've been Alex, also known as Crafted, and I'll see you in the next one.